spark in my mind Nothing innocent, clear the sky You paint my world, I'm in for the ride I'm a queen of kings You sway your doors and I do the can-can Sweet like I've never seen before You play me for a and I can show up You play me, give me more and more Good morning guys, welcome back for another outdoor video. I'm just getting my AG1 ready because Derek and I are gonna be outside demoing our old swing set for our kids and just doing like a bunch of backyard cleanup and yard work and I'm gonna need some energy. So I've been taking AG1 for about a month now and it's completely replaced my daily multivitamin because it does have like 75 vitamins and minerals and it's made of whole food ingredients which is why you have to keep it in the refrigerator. But really what I've loved is that I've noticed increased energy levels and motivation and I'm definitely gonna need that doing yard work. And then also just like mental clarity, focus, and it's been a godsend during this allergy season. And since we're gonna be outdoors and working outside today, it's pollen season, so that's been invaluable. I think this might be a little bit better with the lighting. But anyway, if you are wanting to try out AG1 for yourself, you can order using that link down in my description box. I'll have a QR code that I'll put somewhere around here on the screen just to make it easy for you and get yourself a free water bottle, a free canister, the metal scoop to make sure that you're getting exactly the right portion size every single time and five free travel packs using that link. So thank you so much to AG1 for offering this discount to my viewers and also for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video. Make sure that I have enough energy to get through the mess that we are about to tackle out here. I'm gonna show you guys, it is insane. Last spring, we set up this kind of kids hangout area. We have a small patio area over here. There's swing set and this little playhouse. And I mentioned it last year when I was power washing this that it was gonna be the last season with it. I know it looks kind of okay because the wood is cleaned, but if you can see here, the boards are coming up. It's rotting in a lot of areas. So Derek and I are are going to be tearing it down today or at least we hope that we're gonna be able to get it all done today very very soon we're going to be tearing down our old storage shed if you can tell it's just literally falling apart <laughs> like there's so many holes in it and there's been some termite damage animal damage the roof has finally started to leak and so we're going to be replacing that I've ordered a metal storage shed from patio well and they have great reviews I think it's going to be more durable in the long run having the weather resistant rust resistant metal and just hopefully we'll get a longer lifespan out of it but we've got to get this out of the way first because the base is still intact so we're still going to be using the foundation but anyway we've just got so much to do in our backyard we're clearing out all of this space and trying to give ourselves as much room as possible for that demo and replacement and everything and then Throughout the next few videos, we're going to be figuring out how we want to use our backyard moving forward and how we can set it up to best suit our family for the current season of life that we're in. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be exciting, but today it's gonna be a lot of work.
I've got to save this dandelion for Sawyer. Lately, she has loved finding the perfect ones and making wishes on them. And I feel like this is the perfect one. So I gotta save it until she gets home from school. So I have to go get Sawyer from school. She's gonna be let out in about 15 minutes. So I'm gonna leave Derek here to try to get this top portion down. And I think maybe he'll just try with the sledgehammer to knock all the posts and then leave that top part like whole and together, hopefully. And then this is a sand pit, it's filled with sand. So when I get back, we're gonna have to dig all of that out. We're not just gonna be able to like pick it up and throw it in the garbage because it'll weigh the trash down trash can down too much and then the garbage people won't take it but do you think you'll be able to use the sledgehammer on these supports Hopefully. i definitely for sure that one over there let me see if there's a time lapse mode on my camera so that you don't have to watch it in real time you were tall i looked up from where i sat wish i wouldn't dress up your first line won't forget So is it true no one's taking you yet I remember people staring as we stepped outside They had only one goal Give me all for your mind I was no good they said You could do much better but You gave them one little finger and the door shut Cause I know we Now that we've come so far They're going nuts about how happy we are See the bond that we made It all seems real now that I'm not afraid And we really got them Yeah, we sure did write it out Cause we have each other That's what it's all about I was no good, they said You could do much better It's all gone now. No more swing set. We just got the rest of the sand out and there was some weed barrier here so we pulled that up too and now we've just got a square of dirt. You guys will have to let me know, is grass going to grow in here on its own or do we need to get some grass seed or something so this doesn't just turn into a mud pit? But this is where we have all the swing set pieces. We've literally just been pulling them off camera. So I'm gonna have Derek work on getting all of these into a big pile somewhere off to the side over here. It's supposed to rain tomorrow so we won't be able to really do much with them but after that when it dries back out we'll chop them up and burn them so that we're not just like sending it to the dump to sit there and take up space. But now I think I'm going to move on and 
clean up this little patio space. It looks so bad. Last year, I set this space up for my kids for them to have like their own patio play area. They would bring out sidewalk chalk and draw on the concrete. We used these cinder blocks here as like DIY low maintenance raised garden beds and they actually did really well. I was surprised, but it did have a lot of like leaves that fell and things obviously because the tree right here. And so once we stopped using it and maintaining it for the warmer season, just over the winter, it's an absolute mess. So I need to get all of this brushed away and like clean up the concrete slab here but then also I think I'm just going to move all this furniture over and we're gonna reimagine this space this year I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do but I do know we're gonna do something and I do know I'm gonna film it so look out for that Does this look like a mint plant? Is this just like regrown from last year? Like it's, or is it a weed? Should I throw it away? Or do I keep it and repot it? This says citronella, it doesn't say mint. But those look, those look and smell like mint leaves to me. Oh, look, this is a double. So the bottom one was citronella. What was this one? Oh, that says Centronella too. Well, what is this? Is this a weed to be yard waste or do I repot this? kids have outgrown it like it's they're just taller than it they can't play inside of it anymore so we're going to be I think selling it on Facebook marketplace and using the money to go towards some other lawn games outdoor games but I had these planters on either side of it when I did the little playhouse makeover I think it was part of like a bigger backyard makeover last year I had painted this a couple of years back and then we set it up really cute to kind of mirror what our actual house looked like last year. So we had these planters with flowers and I never brought them in for the season. So now they're like really gross in here. So I'm just going to dump these out and then in a later video we'll do a bunch of pressure washing in our driveway, on the concrete slab over there, 
all of the outdoor rugs that we have and things like this that need a good cleanup, we're just going to go ahead and pressure wash them. But since it's supposed to rain tomorrow, I'm not going to do it today because then it'll just get dirty rain on it tomorrow. So anyway, I'm sure if you guys are interested in seeing all of the pressure washing and I feel like that can be very satisfying, but also I know it can become redundant. So if you want to see it, leave me a comment, let me know, and I would be happy to film it for you. It's so gross. Oh, it smells so bad. This water smells so nice. I know it probably doesn't look like much, but we have done a lot today and we are ready to call it a day. We've got after school extracurricular activities going on. I need to start making dinner and we're just tired. So we're gonna go ahead and end this video here. I feel like we've cleared out a lot. Got this extra little patio area cleaned up. The biggest difference, we completely demolished the old swing set. It's gone, that opened up so much space back there. And then the kids' little play area. We're just gonna list all of these toddler sized toys. I think we have like a construction table, a water table, underneath of that cover and then their old playhouse we're going to list these on facebook marketplace super cheap so that we can get rid of them within the next couple of days because the next thing is we need to tear down this shed and replace it with the new metal shed that we ordered from patio well i do think we've also decided that in a couple of days we're going to go purchase ourselves a chainsaw so that we can cut up all of the wood into manageable pieces not just from the play set but also so when we take down the shed, it is a wooden shed. And we're gonna burn those in the DIY fire pit that we put together. That way it's not just sitting here an eyesore in our yard for an extended period of time, but also so it doesn't end up at the dump, we're just going to go ahead and burn it, use it to roast marshmallows. So I'm just gonna go inside, start making dinner. Even though I'm done with the yard work, I'm not completely done for the day. I don't feel like all of my energy is exhausted and that's a big thanks to AG1 for the boost in energy and sustained energy if you are interested in ag1 don't forget to use that link in my description box you can order your ag1 today and get a free canister free water bottle the free measured scoop and also five free travel packs with your purchase so thank you so much to ag1 for partnering with me and sponsoring today's video and offering this discount to my subscribers thank you guys so much for choosing to spend your time here with me today and just hanging out while we get these not so fun tasks done and Hopefully I see you all in the next one. Bye.